One of the most annoying parts about buying tickets to a concert or a sporting event will soon be a memory. The next time you buy a ticket to see your favorite artist or maybe go to a game over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, you won't have to worry about those so-called junk fees. And we've all been hit mm -hmm. by those junk fees. I know I have. Yeah. In a meeting at the White House today, multiple companies announced they will change the way they approach displaying ticket prices online. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner is live outside Mercedes-Benz Stadium with more about this change and what it will, and I guess what it won't affect. Josh? Yeah, Alan, Savannah, you guys took the words right out of my mouth. What President Biden calls junk fees. These things have affected everybody at some point in time. You go online to buy tickets to a sporting event or a concert, and you think you're paying one price, but then when you get to the payment page, all of a sudden, everything is way more expensive. Well, that mode of business is going the way of the dinosaur. After years of scrutiny, a change is coming at Live Nation. Starting in September, Live Nation will automatically list all the prices up front for all tickets to events. President Joe Biden has made getting rid of so-called junk fees a focal point, even mentioning it in his State of the Union address four months ago. I know how unfair it feels when a company overcharges you and gets away with it. Not anymore. That push appears to be paying off. In a meeting today at the White House, multiple businesses, including SeatGeek and Airbnb, pledged to drop back-end fees that mislead people. This is a win for consumers. The problem is illustrated here. Say I want to buy tickets for the upcoming Beyonce concert at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in August. I get redirected from Live Nation to Ticketmaster and choose my seats, which appear to cost $344. But when I get to the payment, fees bump that to over $400. For concerts like Taylor Swift in late April, those fees were even higher. The move will affect tickets purchased through Ticketmaster as well as those purchased for Live Nation venues like the Buckhead Theater, and the full price will now be shown up front. But with the change not happening until September, big name events like Beyonce, Drake, Blink-182 and the upcoming NASCAR race will still display fees on the back end, meaning you'll have to wait a little longer to see the actual cost a little sooner. These actions matter, and it's uh, inspiring companies to change their practices. Now, before you go off to buy your Beyonce or Drake or your Blink or your NASCAR tickets, just know this actually is not affecting the price of the ticket. You're just seeing that price sooner. So you'll see it up front rather than that change at the end. So that is something to keep in mind as this policy change moves forward. Reporting in downtown Atlanta, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First. All right, Joshua.